Andrea here from The Faux Blonde. I am here today to do a wig review for Lori at Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. The wig that I am reviewing today is Drive by Ellen Villa. Before I get into the review, I just wanted to remind you to go over to Lori's website, wwwlauris lemonade standcom to sign up for her wonderful rewards program. And also remember to use the code FAUXBLONDE for 30% off your purchases. I will do a spin around before I get into the specs on this amazing wig by Ellen Villa. I absolutely love this style and love this color. I will get into the color right after I do a spin around and show you what drive looks like on all sides. I think this is an absolutely beautiful wig. And the other thing that's great about it is it's heat friendly. So if you don't want it to be in this straight cut bob style, you can always put curl in it and add wave to it. And then if you want it to be straight again later, you can then straighten it. So it really has that versatility of being a heat friendly synthetic. One thing about a heat friendly synthetic that I'd like to remind people is that it does do better when you apply heat to it. So even if I weren't, if I wasn't going to uh, curl this one at all and I was just gonna leave it straight, after some time of continuous wear, the ends can get a little bit dry. And when I take my heat straightener and put the heat on the ends, it brings it right back to the way it is now in its brand new state. state. So I find that these heat friendly synthetics really do well when you put heat on the ends. The color that I'm wearing drive in, I really love this color. This is pastel blonde rooted, which is 25, 22, 26. I will get up closer so that you can get a really good look at it. So it is described as a pearl platinum with a dark ash blonde, medium honey blonde, all blended together on a medium brown root. And this right here, you're seeing my wig cap. So that is not anything to worry about. This has a wonderful monofilament that you will see when I take it off, um, but you can see the wig cap a little bit there. Isn't this a beautiful color? I really love it. It's just, it's not too gold. It's just so nicely that it has the gold in it, but also has the ash so that it doesn't look too gold. It's in my opinion, just right. There you're getting a really good look at the color because there is natural light coming in. So you're really getting a good look at the accuracy of this shade. And here's what the lace front looks like. The Ellen Villa lace fronts are amazing. It just blends right into my skin. And here's where the coverage that I'm getting comes down to he right about here. So this is a center part that you'll see when I take it off, but the center part is quite wide. So I find that you can get it to look like a side part just because it does have enough um, width that you'll see when I take it off. But I also have a tendency to just scooch it over a little bit. So now I have changed it to uh, more of a right part and it really doesn't change the look of the wig. So I like to have mine scooched over to the side a little bit. I might even do it a little bit more. Really, really love this one. So I will take it off and show you now what the inside of the cap looks like on drive. So as I mentioned, I am wearing a, um, a wig cap and a wig grip, and that's what you were seeing through the monofilament here. Normally I do not wear a wig cap, but in this video I wanted to wear a wig cap just to see how it would look. And as you can see, you can see it a little bit through. So probably I would not wear a wig cap with this one if I were going to be keeping it. So here's that monofilament center that I was telling you about. It is quite wide, so you can part it. There is quite a bit of parting space here. And it has a wonderful temple to temple lace front. Really nice lace front. 
It has the ear tabs with stays and there's a really nice sturdy stay in there. Here's the extended nape and the Velcro adjusters. I have a 22 inch head circumference and here's where I have the Velcro adjusters and it's fitting me just perfectly. So I find that this would easily fit a 22 inch head circumference. And you could even, there's even room to let it out a little more so you could probably even go up to a 22.5 easily. While I have it off, I'm just gonna give you a better look at the root. Really nice root color. Here's how the back looks again. This is definitely one of my favorite blondes, without a doubt. And this wig is so easy to throw on. I love these wigs that you don't have to mess around with. You just plop it on. So I will give you the specs on drive. I'm just gonna do it again. I like to have it over here a little bit. So the front is 12 inches. The crown is 13.5. The sides are 11. The nape is seven. And the overall weight is 4.6 ounces. 4.6 ounces, which surprises me because it feels lighter than that. I wouldn't even have given it 4.6 ounces, but that's what the information says. So, um, but it's just lightweight. When I put my fingers to it, it feels like butter. The hair feels really silky. It's a really silky texture. It's not dry. And it feels like I'm running my hair through soft butter. If you're interested in the drive wig by Ellen Villa, she is available at Lori's Lemonade Stand A Wig Boutique and comes in a number of different colors. If you'd like to come into the boutique, Lori is at 13980 Gadera Drive in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Lori's phone number is 909-803-0310. If you go on Lori's website, which is www.lauris-lemonade-stand.com, you can see the different colors that Drive comes in. You can also email Lori if you have any questions about this wig. And Lori is at Lori at Lori's-Lemonade-Stand.com. Remember, we're also on Instagram, so please follow us there and on Facebook. And use the code FAUXBLONDE when shopping at Lori's Lemonade Stand for 30% off your purchase. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and I'll be back again soon with more wig reviews for Lori at Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. Have a great day.